I've been getting requests up the ass about gaming on Pentium 4s. What is wrong with you people? No, I'm joking. It's a perfectly reasonable question. Can a 10 year old processor play today's games? Well, if we want to find out, we're going to need a Pentium 4 PC. Since I don't have one ready to go, some unlucky PC downstairs is going to have to have its CPU torn right out of it and exchanged for a Pentium 4. So let's go find a culprit to experiment on. Hmm, which is going to be the best candidate? We can't even fit a graphics card in that. Draenor is just... Draenor. And there's no PCIe port. Lumbridge, we revived, but... I really don't feel like taking apart Lumbridge again, which leaves... Karamja. <laughs> Ooh, Karamja. This is good actually. Karamja already has a reasonable 5770 graphics card in there, so that should give us a good head start. Now we need a Pentium 4. Now, if I have to use a Pentium 4, I'm gonna make sure it's a fast one. So we're going with the 533 chip clocked at 2.93 gigahertz. Does the Pentium 4 handle games? In Bioshock Infinite on medium settings at 720p, we got an average of 5 FPS at the worst and 49 at the absolute best, mostly staying around 21 most of the time. Now these frame rates don't actually sound too bad, but it's clear the chip is aging when it's compared to its younger dual core brother, which showed more than double its performance. While in another favourite of mine, Gary's mod at high settings at a 1080p resolution, our Pentium 4 pulled no FPS at the worst and 44 at the best, mostly staying around a reasonably playable 25 FPS. I was able to crush some zombies and drive my EK without too many problems, so if Gary's mod or Half-Life is your thing, maybe a Pentium 4 might just be fine for you. While in Killing 4 at the maximum settings at 1080p, the Pentium pulled a playable but not really smooth frame rate, offering 30 FPS at the best and 24 most of the time, only really dipping to 16 when things got busy. Well, this one was going to obviously be in the Core 2 Duo's favour, as we all know how much Minecraft loves a good CPU. Now, Pentium really showed its age here, pulling a very choppy 11 FPS. Most of the time, only really hitting 51 when I was standing still and everything was already rendered. All of this was on 8 chunks with low settings. So I hope this answers your questions. Yes, the Pentium 4 can play modern games without exploding, but whether it can run these games well and delivers an enjoyable experience in the process is another question. One thing you have to remember though is that the chip we use today is more than 12 years old, so it can't be expected to keep up with the Core 2 Duo or anything newer. If you need a cheap processor for gaming, try to at least aim for a Core 2 Duo, as Pentiums of this age just really can't keep up with modern games anymore. 
If you enjoyed the video, like and comment below, and if you enjoy this kind of goofy computer content, please do subscribe as I always try to upload new content each week, and most of all, enjoy the rest of your evening.